Okay, we're going to do this really quick because this stuff takes a lot of room. Um, I went to my caches. I'm going to click on log another. We're both very familiar with that one. Um, I've, I've set my uh, GSAC program to open these up automatically. So once you get to the cache, oh yeah, I like it. This is really cool. And you're going to click on GPX exchange file. My GSAC is going to come out and say, what do you want to do with this? I'm going to say open. It opens. I got a little wait time here. This is the wait time I was talking about. This really isn't that bad. I'm okay with this. And then the program opens up after seven seconds or something silly. And uh, it opens up. It's going to pop up and say, is this what you want to do? You say, okay. And okay. Now, um, there's a lot of other ones in here because I play and do stuff. But uh, we'll get down here to um, log. another one which is the one I just sent and um, actually I don't think I need to do that okay this one um, I can say send to GSSR now and it's gonna send um, you can also say uh, GPS and you can say send waypoints I don't want to send all of them that's normally the way I do it though and I will just say send waypoints and they'll all go to my GPS as you can see that was very simple this is GSAC good program I like it it gives you the map down here and it opens their web page up in a in a pane here as you can see and um, believe me there's no pain about this it just goes very easy if you want to see more information you can click on browser and it opens up the whole thing in the browser and you can you can play with it there as well so uh, real quick real easy you will have to set up uh, GPS setup and you'll have to set up your GPS with your COM port mine says the wrong one but that's because I accidentally I had already installed my old one and uh, it doesn't like the fact that I have two so I probably have to go clear something but I, it still works because of the same port so that's it happy caching have a good time